So I think it can be valuable to see how a teacher works through code and thinks about code and looks at the logic and how's the order going. Because sometimes you have to step through each iteration to make sure, oh, is this logic happening in the way I want it to happen? And then think about what you want to happen and rearrange things so that they happen correctly. That's always really helpful to my students in the classroom, which is why I include it here. So even though there's sometimes a little bit of fumbling and it's not like perfectly produced in 34 seconds, you see me do it like I'm a rock star. But instead, I like to give the human experience <laughs> because that's how we learn as humans. We actually see somebody else do something and see them wrestle with it and massage it, and then they get it right. And that's, that's how we all code. And so too often that isn't modeled in online classes. So I like to model that and include that in my classes. To that extent, I am now going to give you a little hands-on mini hands-on exercise. I was going to call it a challenge, but I like the word hands-on exercise better. I think it has better connotations. So here's a mini hands-on exercise. We learned in a previous video how to print the different characters uh, of a string, and we saw format printing where we could do that. So go to the documentation, look at the documentation for format printing. Remember, one was like percent pound uppercase U. Uh, to print the Unicode character. And I want you to loop over the numbers zero to 200 and print them out as text. Because if you remember, if we look at ASCII, and let's just set this up here. If we look at ASCII, so scroll down, here's ASCII, and we have binary, awk, decimal, and hex. And, uh, and if we look at the decimal, zero is gonna print out, you know, null, one, so just print out Let's see, we just start with the letters. Uh, just print out starting with decimal 33. So for loop from 33 all the way up to 90. No, loop from 33 up to 122. 33 to 122. And then print out each of those numbers, but then also show them as a, as a string. So start out by printing the numbers and then see if you could get those to turn into the letters. So that's the mini hands-on challenge using format printing. All right, now I'm gonna try to figure this out with you. And so I'm gonna go to godoc.org and I'm gonna go to forward slash fumped and that's gonna take me to the fumped package. And there it is right there, right there. So I'm gonna hit that. And now I'm gonna come through here and here are my formatting verbs, the verbs, right? Percent V is the value in default format. Percent D is base 10. And when we use percent V and we have a number, so there's percent V. When we use percent V, I'm gonna use my super simple highlighter. Don't know if you know this, but Google Chrome extensions. Okay, you could go find extensions and add those onto your browser at Google Chrome. And, uh, and then you could do cool stuff. And that's a super simple highlighter, so you can highlight web pages. I grew up old school where I love highlighting stuff. <laughs> so uh, here is, if we have percent %v, it prints out an int as percent %d. And then a string, we have percent %s is the uninterpreted bytes, double quoted string. Percent %x is uh, lowercase two characters per byte. And if we scroll down, we have right x if the character is printable for percent %u. This is Unicode, right? So it prints out uh, the, the Unicode stuff. So percent pound capital U. So we'll check that out. So let's see what we can get working here. So to do this, I'm going to create a loop and that loop is going to be four and then we'll have our init colon equals and we go from 33 and then we're gonna go I is less than or equals to 122 and then we're gonna do I plus plus and then we'll print something and we'll come here. We're gonna use format printing and so with the format printing, we will use bump, 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 bump. And we could go over to Fumped Godoc and we can look through to see which different ones we have. We'll just do percent %v right off the bat and see what we're getting, percent %v. And we'll do a new line character, format it. And we need to add in what we want to print and run it. And now we have 33 through 122 and that's going to correspond with our ASCII. 33 will be the exclamation point, and through 122 will be through lowercase z. And you can see that right there. Decimal 122 is lowercase z. So we're printing all that out. And then if you remember from when we were looking at strings, we saw this one here, percent pound u, just to show you that again. There's the percent pound u. And then we could come in here and we could do a tab 
and percent pound U and a new line there and then just add that. Just one of them and format it and run it. And so now we have printed out all of the ASCII characters and their code points. That is pretty cool. One thing I might be interested in doing, just like looking at this, would be the hexadecimal. And so for hexadecimal, I'm going to uh, have that tab and then percent pound X and then another tab. And let's run that. And we're going to need one more character. There we go. And notice the error on that. I did that kind of quick because there's still, even in me, a little embarrassment if I have an error. <laughs> like, oh, quick, cover it up, fix it, show what I... But, you know, there are, the U is missing. And here's the U, right? We're missing that. It's like, hey, I hit percent, and there's not a U. Duh, it's missing. <laughs> so if I add that in, right, a value to pass to U, then it runs. So there's, a, there's hexadecimal. Notice how those correspond to the Unicode code points, right? That's in binary, that's in hexadecimal, and then here's that character. There, there's that rune, that code point. All right, kind of cool. Don't feel bad at all if you didn't get this challenge. That was, uh, that's why I didn't assign it as a you know, whole hands-on Jedi exercise, which I expect you to solve on your own. This challenge was a little bit more challenging. There's a couple of nuances to it, so don't feel bad if you didn't get it. <laughs> You're doing awesome. You're doing great.